Raise your hand if you got ready pulled over by the police. Okay. Keep your hand raised if when you got pulled over, it was for something you weren't even doing. Okay. Keep your hand up if you do not have to worry about making it home after you get pulled over. Look around. How many hands are still up? When the man from Chipotle tells me he can't read my mind, it sounds a little bit too much like, girl, speak up. When the officer pulls us over on the way home from an open mic and is convinced the car reeks of alcohol, immediately I see my face on the faces of women who partner people, the police convince themselves of wrongdoing too. But nonetheless, I panic. Words scrambling around my mind like, who the fuck are they talking to? But also, why the fuck am I silent like words don't keep my lights on? Build pilot episodes of scenarios that will never air, yet the air in my lungs never makes it to my chest. And do I really have the heart of a lion if they never hear me roar? But my be the only story that makes it to the news. And if life gaslights us into believing that there's nothing that we can do, then what other choice do we have to walk in our ancestors' shoes because for a split second? In an alternate reality, I load my clip with the words I was too afraid to use because I refuse to be another hashtag on a long list of people who look like me and you and my skills will be a blue raspberry flavored water that they'll mistake for a gun to. So I hope that the people I love know I love them because I don't know if I'm making it Those folks who lack pigment must have made a deal with the devil because they always seem to throw the first stone. So I whisper, should I keep my hands on the dash Because at this point, I don't know what else I can do when at the end of every scenario, my windows no blood and don't know if it came from me or you and my people. They'll rally. And they'll still honor those terrorists in blue knowing they're the ones they need to lock up and keep captured in a zoo. Cause how could we be the coolest monkeys in the jungle if you never let us live? And how are you always asking us for explanations but you never have one to give? And my life was hanging fire as you determined your hate. And the moment you got you first killed, the moment I got my death date. So when the man from Chipotle gives me a hard time and laughs with Ann, I ball my fist. And I walk away, because I can't do that shit again. I will not be another hashtag on your shrine of kills. Mm -hmm. I will not be another black woman painted on the side of buildings, leaving my mom with a life to rebuild that will never exist. Because in my world, there is no right side. If the only side you see is death, if I resist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.